Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Avatar The Last Airbender. It's episode 12 of season 1. Uh, let's dive right in. The previous episode was very nice. I enjoyed it. A lot of uh, manipulation and at the same time using of words and action and uh, yeah, I, I I really loved it. I'm super excited to see what we are, um, where we are heading because it's not much about like, you know, them uh, learning what a, like any sort of bending or any elements. It's just like problems on their way but uh very nice i really liked it so let's not any further let's get right to episode 12 of avatar the last airbender the storm Ooh, it's getting such peaceful ringtones what's happening that is what i thought appa would look like flying you're joking <laughs> we need you, Aang. I need you too. Whoa. Whoa. Why did you disappear? I didn't mean to. Whoa, 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 whoa. We need you, Aang. This is like some Nanya. The oh, storm. On. Did we get captured again? Comet guy. I just said, you want to tell me about it? I think I just need some rest. You guys want to hear about my dream? <laughs> That's okay. I didn't want to talk about it anyway. It's about the car, the, I mean, we're coming to the summer's end where he's to be. clear skies, buddy. We shouldn't go to the market. What happened in your dream? Food eats people. <laughs> also, Momo could talk. You said some very unkind things. Oh, look at that! The prince! There is a storm coming. Finding the Avatar is far more important than any individual's safety. You better have a good insurance policy with that talk. He doesn't mean that. He's just all worked up. Ah, it's good! It's perfect! I'm telling you! I don't know if I like the sound of that swish out of money anyway. Hey! That's terrible. Out of food and out of money. Now what are we supposed to do? Respect. Or I will teach it to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you know about respect? The way you talk to everyone around here, from your hardworking crew to your esteemed uncle, shows you know nothing about respect. <sighs> You don't care about anyone but yourself. I don't need your help keeping order on my ship. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're losing track of who you are. There, Prince Zuko. Then I guess I must have imagined the last hundred years of war and suffering. Aang is the bravest whoa, person I know. the nightmares. He's done nothing but help people and it's not his fault he disappeared, right, Aang? Aang, what's wrong? Whoa! That's right! Keep flying! Oh, man! Eh. Sokka's gonna come back to no one! Hey! hey. They left without saying goodbye! Your friends ain't too polite, are they? I know! This one time, I was- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get below that. Oh. I'm sorry, Sokka! Oh, Angie boy, where are you? Oh, Ang, come on. First, you form the ball. Then you gotta get on quick. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! I made it up. Wow! Ang, come with us. We need to speak with you. Well, with all the arrows that are there on every other avatar. Hard to 16, but there are troubling signs. Storm clouds are gathering. I fear that war may be upon us, young avatar. We need you, Ang. Oh, the we need you, Ang. Okay, that's what keeps haunting him. I'm gonna rule this nation one day. Don't you think I need to start learning as much as I can? 
Whoa. Very well. Looks so different. But you must promise not to speak. These old folks had attacked from the rear. What better to use as bait than fresh meat? You can't sacrifice an entire division like that. Those soldiers love and defend our nation. Oh, what? I can't play? That's the only fair way. Oh, okay. Hey, no. Sorry, Aang. Okay, now who wants to have Jinju on their team? <laughs> oh, Aang. The Lotus style. Very. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing games with him? The Avatar should be training. Aang has already trained enough for today. Time is short. Oh, Come with so. me. I must test you on some high-level techniques. No. As long as I am his guardian, I will decide when he trains. And when he gets his butt kicked at Pine Show. Hey. That's why he said it's so important to have some fun. Oh, man, hang. And there was only one way to resolve this. Agni Kai. Oh, Agni Kai, right. yes. Zuko looked upon the old... The storm is what caused him to do this. Like, to be in this iceberg. The not... first thing I knew, I was waking up in your arms after you found me in the iceberg. to help. You don't know what would have... The world needed me and I wasn't there to help. Aang, the fisherman was right. Relax. I did turn my back on the world. You're being too hard on hope. When Prince Zuko saw that it was his father who had come to duel, he will be your teacher. I looked away. This is I'm terrible. another hundred years later oh thank god oh you're alive that was you all this boy and a he doesn't have meat fishing meat 
Seriously? You're still gonna pay me, right? <laughs> ah! Katara, I think you were right before. I'm done dwelling on the- I make guesses about how things would have turned out if I hadn't run away. I'm here now and I'm going to make the most of it. I don't think you're gonna have those nightmares anymore. Uh, if you weren't here now, like that, no. Mm hmm Do you hear that? It stopped raining. Great job. Wow. Sun. Make an appearance, babes. Oh, nice. That's pretty intense. We got to see two sides of the story. I think this one was like quite an eye opener. We saw um, Ang's side of the story, how he became an avatar, or how not became. Well, how he was told he is an avatar to uh, Zuko. How he received the the burn and. Um, you know he he's like i i really think zuko is a misunderstood character and i genuinely think that he's like a a person who's doing what is right by him and he's get, trying to get the avatar because he's the one that will bring him honor and he's not a bad person at all i, I genuinely from the start i genuinely knew that zuko had some sort of like if it's something to do with honor and bringing it back to the father, it's never a bad thing. It's just some kind of misunderstanding here and there. And what he's doing in his own way, he's trying to just regain his family's trust, mainly his father's sort of place back in, like, you know, in the palace and where Fire Nation. Yes, basically that. But I really like these two sides of the story. I think this is the second episode I like from the the other one that i liked as well i can't remember which episode that was but i really like this one as well this is i think this one is a very you know for um i know this is like a kid's show but for to understand on like on a mature level this is like quite quite an intense um 24 minutes just to like get the the feedback of everything and you know to see what happened there what happened here and you know the storm and you know ptsd and that's like pretty intense but as a kid you just see like as a as like cartoon but now it's just more like the depth behind every message is very it's very nice i like it a lot so i'll see you guys in episode 13 thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and um yeah have a great day bye